I'd like to check in with Lindsay and see what's going on at the Flying Dance Company. Many of us know the importance of exercise, yet struggle to commit to a regular workout. Dancing is a great alternative that is appropriate for all ages to get and stay in shape. We are here with Nico, instructor and owner of the Flying Dance Company. Nico, how long have you been dancing and what inspired you to start dancing? Um, I've been dancing all my life from the time I was young. I'm from Kenya originally, so we used to do a lot of uh, traditional dances back home. When I came to Canada for university, I discovered Latin dancing, and I started dancing uh, about 10 years ago, and I went to a club in Toronto, and I discovered salsa, and I've been dancing ever since. How long has the Flying Dance Company been open, and what influenced you to open it? Oh, Flying Dance Company. I think we are going on eight years now. Um, what happened was that uh, when I, after I went to Toronto and started dancing. In Guelph here, when I was at the university, there was nothing that complemented any type of partner dancing. So I thought that, you know, if I could learn enough and be able to uh, exchange or rather give people what I've learned, especially in the salsa community, that's what I did. So I started with the salsa, I expanded with all the ballroom dances, West Coast Swing and beyond, and that's where South uh, Flying Dance Company came to be. What health benefits does dancing have? Oh, there are lots of health benefits. I usually put this in two categories. There's an inner peace that people get when they dance, the joy they get. So this helps with self-esteem, uh, self-confidence. Uh, you get to sleep better actually when you dance. And also uh, it gives you joy. I think it helps your inner peace. For physical benefits, that comes from toning your body better and physical shape. You get to weight loss, a very good weight loss program. We're losing lots of calories. Uh, lots of stamina, increases your endurance, energy overall, uh, and also other health benefits that come with that is better circulation, better posture, how you stand and walk, and the confidence you gain from that, and also uh, high blood pressure, fights diabetes, also fights depression, so dance is one of the best things for that as well. What types of classes do you offer here? Uh, we offer mostly partner dancing, mostly in the salsa, merengue, bachara, cha cha. We do the ballroom classes of uh, the waltz and the fox trot and Argentine tango. We also complement that with West Coast swing and we have belly dancing for the ladies and also uh, hip hop for all people. Tell us about the Flying Dance Festival. Oh, Flying Dance Festival. Uh, that came about where um, I wanted to let people who are not coming to the studio experience dance. So we started in 2004 by offering free dance lessons and a place for people to socialize and dance in the community. It was always outdoor. And as the years have gone by now, we spread it to Stratford, Godrich, Hamilton. Uh, we're also going to be in London. So we are going to be dancing outdoor all day, one day, um, uh, one day in the summer in all those different cities and all the artists, local artists can get to travel within the festival and just uh, enjoy themselves and make sure that they can advertise what they do and to the community. For beginners or people at home that are a little intimidated, do you have any pointers or tips to help get them started dancing? Um, there's a lot of people who think they have no rhythm or they have two left feet. What I usually give an example is that if you've ever gone to a concert or you're in a, you go to church to listen to the church group singing and maybe the artist or the conductor starts clapping the hands and everything else and everybody joins in. If you can keep pace and tempo and rhythm with a person clapping in front of you, you have rhythm. And since you're using your left and right hand, well, there you go. That means when you come to the studio, believe in what you do and we will just, we always, I always tell my students, make as many mistakes as possible. It's my job to correct and catch that and help you along. So yes, anybody can dance. And do you have any programs for children? Oh yes, uh, we have uh, the summer camp and the March break camp for the kids. Uh, I'm partnering with a friend of mine from, uh, he's called Pablo, he has Pablo cartoons. We're going to be also doing PE days with him. Um, so hip hop also for the kids for the age, different age groups and that's amazing as well. Now 
Pepito and Amanda are going to break down the basic salsa steps for us. Okay, uh, the key to any kind of dancing is always shifting away from forward, any direction, so forward, backward, or left and right. So in salsa, we move forward and backwards and reverse that. So the key is rocking forward and backward. So that's the basic step, and we step on one, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So that's the basic step. So anytime you're ever confused in salsa, this is your home plate, okay? One, two, three, keep moving. Now we're gonna do the single right turn. Five, six, seven. One, two, you turn on five, six, seven. And one, two, three. We're gonna do that. You will do it, no worries. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Well, that's it. Very good. Six, seven. Dancing is a great way to make exercise fun and an enjoyable social event. It also boasts a number of health benefits, from burning calories to strengthening both the body and the mind. Stay tuned.